The Wookiees were pretty awesome, as anyone even remotely familiar with the Star Wars universe knows. What's less well known is that the Wookiees had a long and painful history. The history of Kashyyyk and its natives, from before the Republic to the Legacy Era, is a tale of foreign powers coming in and screwing over the Wookiees again and again, doing everything from burning down entire cities to enslaving the whole planet. It's a safe bet that the Wookiees suffered more than any other species in the Star Wars galaxy, and in this video, we're going to explore that suffering in detail. Attention, Sergeant on deck! The Wookiees are believed to have evolved on the planet Kashyyyk, a lush, beautiful world located in the mid rim. Kashyyyk had virtually no axial tilt and a perfectly circular orbit meaning that it didn't have seasons, which led the planet to become densely forested. Practically the entire non-oceanic surface of Kashyyyk was covered by massive forests of rochi trees, titanic plants that regularly grew to heights of several kilometers. Kashyyyk's ecosystem has been described as a layered death trap. Due to the nature of the rochi trees, the planet had a sort of vertical ecosystem, which the Wookiees divided into seven layers, most of which were home to hordes of deadly beasts. The Wookiees lived near the Roshi Canopy in what they designated the seventh layer and few dared to venture lower than the fourth. The lowest levels of the ecosystem, including the forest floor, were called the Shadowlands, as the canopy overhead was so thick that they never saw the light of day. There was a dark secret behind this unique environment, however. It was almost completely artificial. The planet's completely circular orbit and lack of axial tilt suggests that Kashyyyk was set in place by the Celestials while the entire surface of the planet was extensively terraformed by the Rakata. During the early years of the Rakata's infinite empire, they claimed Kashyyyk as an agricultural world, setting up a machine called the Builder Forge on the planet's surface to accelerate plant growth and favorable climate change. The Rakata employed the Wookiees as slaves to work their farms, putting their formidable strength to what they considered good use. It's not known to what degree the Rakata interfered in the development of the Wookiee species, while many sources seem to suggest the Wookiees evolved on Kashyyyk, Wookiee legends suggested they came from another planet, much like the Roshi trees which the Rakata imported. It's entirely possible that the Rakata first enslaved the Wookiees elsewhere and brought the whole species over to Kashyyyk, though it's unknown whether or not this was actually the case. Either way, the Rakata enslaved the Wookiees and were the first of many species to do so. Eventually, the Rakata abandoned Kashyyyk, possibly due to a slave rebellion, leaving the Wookiees to claim freedom. Regardless of the cause, they were in quite a rush to leave, and they forgot to shut off their giant terraforming machine before they did so. The Builder Forge continued to influence the ecosystem of Kashyyyk, and was responsible for the dramatic size of the planet's Roshir forests. Additionally, due to its nature as a dark side artifact, a star map attached to the Builder Forge influenced the evolution of the planet's predators, resulting in the savage nature of most Shadowlands beasts. The Wookiees had peace for millennia afterwards, during which they became technologically advanced and developed their first civilizations. The Kashyyyk system was discovered by the Republic in approximately 16,000 BBY, but galactic civilization didn't make proper contact with the system's natives until around 10,000 years after the fact. Due to their appearance and their inability to speak galactic basic, the Wookiees were passed off as primitives, and Kashyyyk was largely ignored. It was the Wookiees' planetary neighbors, the Trandoshans, who first put the system on the map. Trandosha was also located in the Kashyyyk system, and while the Wookiees were perfectly content to stick to their own world, the Trandoshans were far more eager to connect with galactic society. They did so in 7000 BBY, though they didn't properly integrate with the Republic until much later. In 4020 BBY, outsiders finally took notice of Kashyyyk. Unfortunately for the Wookiees, those outsiders were Zerka Corporation a vicious conglomerate known for their unscrupulous business practices. Zerka allied with the Trandoshans and lobbied the Senate into classifying the Wookiees as non-sentient, allowing them to claim Kashyyyk for their own. They renamed the planet Edian and set about squeezing as much profit out of the world as possible. They built a starport near the village of Wukwaro to use as their base of operations, and while they approached the Wookiees as friends at first, they soon pivoted to the role of oppressors. Zerka, like the Rakata before them, enslaved the Wookiees, exporting them for use as laborers. As the Republic didn't consider the Wookiees sentient at the time, this was perfectly legal, and Zerka made a hell of a profit from it. 
At first, the slavers kidnapped stray Wookiees from the outskirts of villages and from the Shadowlands, often employing Trandoshan hunters to do so. But after making an alliance with the Wookiee chieftain Chunda, they started moving into villages and enslaving large swathes of the population. In 3956 BBY, after nearly 70 years of slavery and oppression, the Wookiees finally managed to dispose of Zerka. That year, the amnesiac Revan came to Kashyyyk looking for the planet's star map, accompanied by Zalbar, Chunda's brother. After learning of the situation the planet's natives were in, Revan helped Freya, the father of the two Wookiees, kill Chunda and reclaim Wukuro. Subsequently, the Wookiees rose up across the planet and slaughtered their oppressors, leaving Revan and his companions as the only non-Wookiees left alive on Kashyyyk. After Revan's departure, they barred all outsiders from Kashyyyk while the planet recovered. But Zerka's defeat didn't put an end to the Wookiees' problems. The Trandoshans continued to raid Kashyyyk, capturing Wookiees to send into slavery and looting the villagers whenever they had the chance. The Wookiees fought back ferociously, however, and they ended up reverse engineering Trandoshan technology somewhere along the line as well. This led the Wookiees to, at long last, take to the stars and establish themselves among the sentient species of the galaxy. In short order, the Wookiees made contact with the Corellians, with whom they set up trade agreements in the hopes they would earn them a place in the galaxy. But once again, luck wasn't on the Wookiees' side. The Corellians forced exploitative trade agreements on the Wookiees, screwing them yet again. This was resolved in short order, however, when the Alderanian diplomatic corps talked the Republic into giving Kashyyyk Senate representation, which ultimately resulted in fairer trade and better visibility for the Wookiees. The Golden Age of the Republic was a golden age for Kashyyyk as well, which, despite continued raids from Trandosha, prospered as a Republic member world. Kashyyyk became the standard for Republic development in the Mid-Rim, and Wookiee senators representing the sector became revered in the Senate for their wisdom. It was during this period that the Klatuvak Guild was formed, a group of Wookiee astro-navigators based in Kakarot who blazed thousands of secret hyperspace routes over the galaxy. But Kashyyyk's golden age wouldn't last. The Clone Wars made the Kashyyyk system extremely valuable to both the Republic and Confederacy, and when the Wookiees sided with the Republic, it immediately earned them the ire of the Separatists. The Confederacy began sponsoring Trandoshan slaver raids, which used it as a cover to attempt a full-scale invasion of the planet, starting at Kakaro. The Republic caught wind of this plot and sent a massive invasion force to back up the Wookiees, beginning the Battle of Kashyyyk. The Wookiees and their Republic allies succeeded in driving off the Confederacy, but the Republic became the Empire shortly afterwards, and the Wookiees' allies became their latest oppressors. About a month after the end of the Clone Wars, the Empire tracked several fugitive Jedi to Kashyyyk, which they used as an excuse to put the whole planet under martial law. The Wookiees resisted, and they were violently suppressed. The Empire firebombed the largest Wookiee cities, and in a joint venture with the Trandoshans, enslaved the entire planet. For much of the Galactic Civil War, Kashyyyk was under tight Imperial control. The Empire strictly monitored all traffic to and from the planet, and Wookiees were only allowed to leave in chains. The Empire used Wookiee slave labor to build the Death Star, at the cost of thousands of lives, as well as countless other military projects. Once more, Wookiees were classified as non-sentient by the Imperial Senate, meaning that even those Wookiees who avoided slavery didn't have any rights, no matter where they went in the galaxy. The New Republic finally liberated Kashyyyk shortly after the Battle of Endor, and they repulsed a brief attempt by the extragalactic Nagai to enslave the Wookiees as well. But the freedom of Kashyyyk didn't last. After only a few weeks, the Empire moved in yet again, once more enslaving the Wookiees. This second occupation only lasted for about a year, however, before Han Solo, Chewbacca, Lando Calrissian and others incited a revolution that drove the Empire off Kashyyyk for good. Following the revolution, Kashyyyk entered into an era of peace and prosperity once more, but the Wookiees would continue to suffer even into the Legacy Era. In 40 ABY, during the Second Galactic Civil War, a fleet led by Darth Cadus attempted a base Delta Zero strike on Kashyyyk. They were quickly driven off, but the bombardment still did a massive amount of damage to the planet's forests, igniting massive fires and killing trees that had stood for millennia. The history of the Wookiees is full of tragedy and suffering, but at the end of the day, the Wookiees did ultimately emerge stronger for it. No matter whether their oppressors were Trandoshans, corporate agents, or Imperials, they always refused to accept defeat. 
Through slavery, slaughter, and ecological devastation, they never gave in, and their way of life endured because of it. The Wookiees were as unique and as magnificent as Kashyyyk itself, and the pain they endured didn't diminish that. In fact, it enhanced it. So, that's a brief account of the suffering that the Wookiees went through over the course of their history. But what do you think? Would you like to hear more of these stories about the Wookiees? Let us know in the comments section below. And just before you go guys, if you want to listen to the music we played in this video, and plenty of our other previous videos, make sure you check out our Relax Jack music channel. The link is at the top of the description below. And if you just generally want to join our wider Geetsleys community, do check out the Discord and our Geetsleys gaming network. Those links are too in the description below. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.